Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. So in our subject, Advanced Manufacturing Processes, we have started the chapter number 1, and that is Unconventional Machining Processes or Non-Conventional Machining Processes or Non-Traditional Machining Processes. So in Unconventional Machining Processes, we have started the discussion of various processes, right? So in previous sessions, we have discussed the mechanical energy based process that is abrasive jet machining in the similar concept water jet machining also, right? So once again I repeat, in unconventional machining processes, our purpose is to do the machining with help of various or say with help of energies involved. So based on various energy, in that based on mechanical energy, today we are going to discuss on second process, right? So in mechanical energy involved, abrasive jet machining is one of the processes that we have discussed in previous session. So as per our concept, mechanical energy, what happened in abrasive jet machining? So in the abrasive jet machining, with help of high velocity or high kinetic energy jet or material can be removed right so today we are going to discuss on second process that is also based on mechanical energy involved right so here i mentioned the process our process name is abrasive jet machining and after second process is based on mechanical energy and that is ultrasonic machining right so abrasive jet machining and today ultrasonic machining both processes are based on mechanical energy involved right so today we are going to discuss on ultrasonic machining so in this slide I mentioned the image or the principle of ultrasonic machining. So here we can or say we can understand the concept by simple brittle fracturing. So here I mentioned brittle fracturing. The term brittle fracturing is the principle of ultrasonic machining. Right? So let us start our discussion on brittle fracturing or in ultrasonic machining how can we remove the material right so here based on the name ultrasonic machining it means here ultrasonic frequency comes into picture and we can remove the material by vibration or say with help of abrasion at ultrasonic vibration right so here similar or say very simple concept is with help of vibration or with help of high frequency vibration we can do the machining right so this is the concept of ultrasonic machining right so here in this figure you can easily understand the concept of ultrasonic machining so what do you mean by ultrasonic frequency so here i mentioned the basic concept or say basic mechanism behind ultrasonic machining so as we all know that in the audible range the frequency will be very less right but what do you mean by ultrasonic frequency so ultrasonic frequency range is greater than 20000 hertz or greater than 20 kilohertz right so if the frequency will be greater than 20 kilohertz or say 30 kilohertz then this range will be known as ultrasonic range and at this frequency, when the tool vibrates, what happens? There will be abrasion of your workpiece material. That is known as a fracture or say small fractures. So here our principle is, once again I repeat, that is brittle fracturing. It means when tool vibrates at that high frequency, that is around 20 kilohertz or 30 kilohertz, that is 30,000 or 20,000 hertz. So when, what happens when tool vibrates at this high frequency, our material can be removed, right? So this is very simple principle or some mechanism behind the material removal, right? So here, as per our discussion, here I mentioned the detailed construction setup for ultrasonic machining process. 
So in the ultrasonic machining, once again I repeat, with help of high amplitude or with help of high frequency vibration, what piece material can be machined or say removed or cut, right? So here, one thing is very important, you will require a high frequency vibration at the two length, right? So for that here, transducers are used, right? So transducer here, I mentioned in this image, transducer is very important. Our tool is very important. Another thing is abrasive particles or abrasive slurry is also used, right? So why abrasive particles are used? So we will discuss later on. So here, first of all, please be clear about the construction of this setup. So here in this construction, various components are mentioned and labeled as shown in this figure, right? So here I mentioned the components like abrasive slurry, transducer, your tool, etc. Right? So here feed mechanism is also mentioned as a component. Right? So we will discuss uh, in depth on each and every components. So let us start discussion on various components involved in ultrasonic machining. Right? So here abrasive slurry or abrasive particles that is the most important here abrasive slurry is used. So why abrasive slurry is used here? So here when tool vibrates at high frequency, what happens? Due to this vibration, your material will fracture out, right? But when you apply or when you provide the abrasive materials, your material removal rate will be faster. Because what happens when small abrasive particles will come in between the tool and the workpiece, what happens due to this? the fracture rate will be high. It means when you provide the abrasive sharp particles, your material removal will be faster. That's why abrasive slurry is used in this machining process. So as per our discussion, boron carbide, aluminium oxide, or say glass, or say diamond rust is also used as abrasive particles, right? So abrasive particles that is used in the grinding wheel here, in form of slurry, we can provide this abrasive particles, right? So why abrasive particles are important? Because due to abrasive particles, the abrasive particle is nothing but it is having a sharp edge or cutting edges. So we can uh, remove the material at faster rate, right? After that, here I mentioned the transducer. So what is the function of transducer? The function of transducer is to convert one energy form into another form. It means here our output will be the vibratory motion. So here function of transducer is to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. That is electrical energy into your vibration energy or vibration motion. That is the function of transducer. After that, here I mentioned our tool. Tool is very important. Your tool should be harder. And purpose of tool is to provide the cutting action, right? After that, here I mentioned the tool holder also. The purpose of tool holder is to hold the tool very firmly. And it is also mentioned or say function of tool holder is also to fill the bridge or say to make the bridge between your transducer circuit to your workpiece, right? So these are the main components that is under category of construction details, right? So how can we do the machining or say how ultrasonic machining can be done? Here I mentioned the simple steps as per our discussion. The first step is to provide the electrical input that is electrical energy. After that with help of oscillator or with help of transducer after that what happens that electrical energy will be converted into the vibration form and this vibration motion will be transmitted at the tool end and due to this abrasion what happens your material will be removed right so this is a very simple principle but remove or say here for your information your frequency must be higher than 20 kilohertz or say your frequency must be in the ultrasonic range that is 20,000 hertz or more right so based on this principle we can do the machining right so here once again I repeat abrasive slurry is also provided so in the working we should mention this 
a concept of abrasive slurry so when we provide the abrasive slurry this abrasive small particles will come in between tool and your workpiece and that will increase the material removal rate right so this is how we can remove the material or cut the material from the workpiece so once again i repeat the term brittle fracturing why it is known as a brittle fracturing because this type of fracturing is possible in brittle material only because what happens in yield also what happens in ductile material there will be yield point and material will start deform beyond yield point so in that type of material this type of fracturing is not possible but in case of brittle material your material will fracture out beyond ultimate point so what happens when we provide the vibratory motion beyond the other point or say beyond fracture point in case of brittle material or material can be cut that's why here principle is brittle fracturing it means this process is best suited for brittle material only because in the brittle material we can easily remove or fracture the particles beyond ultimate or say fracture point right so this is how machining can be done in ultrasonic machining that is under category of mechanical energy involved thank you all of you